Hello guys, a very warm welcome. It's Choma here, back with another video. And for today, it is like a literally like a special moment for me. Like we've got the legendary guys. I don't think you understand. We've got the legendary, legendary Cleo Ice Queen <laughs> in this London town. What? Yes. What? <laughs> Not oh quite goodness. legend yet, but uh, making the move. Uh, come on, come on. Like, she's absolutely amazing. I've been following you for a very, very long time. Absolutely love your music. Thank you. Love your style, everything. Thank it's you. Just, it's just gorgeous. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank okay, you. guys. So, in this video, Clea will be sharing her hair chronicle. So, she'll take us right from the beginning of her hair journey all the way up until present day. But before you do that, before you do anything, if you want to continue watching this video, you just need to do me one solid favor. One solid favor. All you have to do is hit that red button to subscribe, okay? So you don't miss anything. And then also turn on that little big bell right there. And that lets you know every single time I post a video. And you never know who the next person is going to be because, hello, like, please is right here. Please, please. Like, do you see her? Do you see her? <laughs> all right, guys, that's all you need to do. Cool. And let's get into the hair chronicles. Yeah. Let's get to it. Like, where do you even start? Where do you, where start? Do you even start <laughs> with hair? But I'm sure if you've followed me on Instagram before, I've posted a couple of hair journeys, like mm -hmm. um, hair chronicles is what I call okay. them. And yeah. Just do a, like a few, a collage of pictures, different pictures with different hair. I have had so many different hairstyles from the time I was a little girl. And that's the beautiful thing about, you know, having African hair mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. that how much you can play around with it and be 10 different girls to your one boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> Bonus, you know. <laughs> Which one would you like me Which one, to be Which one, who do you want babe? me to be Which tomorrow? One? <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> exactly, it's beautiful. I remember my mom first relaxed our hair when we were probably seven years old. Wow, that's young. So we didn't have much of a choice in the okay. beginning of our hair journey. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember on my fourth birthday, I had the big chop. It okay. looked like I just had a big chop because okay. I had like the shortest hair. That made me very insecure. Like I'm okay. four years old, why is my hair being cut? Yeah. Was it supposed to be done a long time ago? And yeah. you know, I put the shortest hair in class. Mm -hmm. And it, funny enough, in Zambia, I was in a mixed school. We had like Indians, white people, all of that. So mm -hmm. even as a black girl yeah. in Zambia at the time, I was a minority because there were probably like three of us. That's crazy. It's crazy. So I'm just wondering like, what? yeah, yeah, I know it's crazy. But that was like kindergarten. I remember I've got mm -hmm. pictures of me at four years old sitting with four six there in my cake and I'm wearing this crown of a sort and I just had a big chop and I'm just like already as a young girl that will make mm, you insecure because exactly. you know all your other friends have got that all you know <laughs> yeah okay, exactly you know all that hair going on and the white girls and the Indian girls and everything they all have that going on already for them and you're just like why am I the one yeah that looks like the boys <laughs> you know but anyway, um, luckily academics helped you to be, you know, that girl. And, mm. and kids also don't really care. But for me, at a young age, when I looked at it, I remember feeling that way, you yeah. know? So from then on, my mom couldn't really manage our hair. Okay. And so she was like, you know, we need to relax this hair because can't comb it. They're always crying when we comb yeah. it. They're always, you know, back then there was no ways and means for us to take care of soften our natural hair without mm -hmm. putting chemicals in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we did have our hair relaxed at a very young age. And yeah. I kept it up that way pretty much throughout. Um, obviously, it was cutting a lot because, yeah. you know, when you're swimming, you also want to dip your hair into, yeah, you know, you want to go exactly. under water, you want to do all those things. Yeah. And I remember, actually, when I went to Banani, mm -hmm. there we didn't have relaxers. Okay. So it was always... Braided. Braids. Okay. It was always braided, not even braids. Mm -hmm. Your hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it had to be your hair, it had to be natural. And I'm just mm -hmm. like, ah, school is so boring. Yeah. Why? Why can't we just like do, you know, long rasta? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I feel like there's a juxtaposition in terms of different schools that you go to in Zambia that True. will have different expectations. Exactly. So some that will align with the standard European, like, you know, beauty. Yeah. Uh, and others that are more in line with, like, our African heritage of yeah. having, like, natural hair. Definitely. So where, like, some girls will feel like if they go to the, the type of school the other school, school yeah, yes. it's like, it's almost like a rite of passage if yeah. you've had your hair natural to then get it relaxed. Or if you've had your hair relaxed from a young age to then transition, exactly. which is really crazy it's what's true. happening at the it's moment. It's so crazy. It's so, so crazy. And once you get to that age where you're making your own decisions, it helps. Because then after I left Banani, I went to another private school, which was Rosebuck School. And there, 
I could braid my hair, yeah. even if it was slightly off black, you yeah, know, you yeah. could get away with it. Mm -hmm. And I, I had this color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had this, this um, thing of braiding those small little um, rasters mm. and, you know, have them like to, close to my natural hair yeah. texture okay. Okay. and make sure that, you know, that was like my standard style, you know, yeah. tie it back, leave it loose, tie it up, you know, half pony down, you know, all those mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So after that, when I graduated high school, I was like, you know what? This is time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are ready. <laughs> yes. My hair, my room. Right. And I'm just like, go crazy. So obviously the first thing I did was go blonde. Okay. I've always been in love with blonde, but it wasn't a hectic blonde, like a platinum blonde or whatever. It was a strawberry type of warmish, okay. ashy blonde. Nice. So you were introduced so, to color from a very young age. Definitely. Yeah. But also that made my hair suffer a lot. Okay. Because okay. then I was 16 when yeah. I got out of high school and I'm already experimenting with coloring mm -hmm. my hair and all those things. And were you still relaxing it at that time? It was still relaxed. Okay. It okay. was still very relaxed. So, you know, it's colored and it's it's, it's relaxed. And once they straighten it, yes. it's straightened out. It's just like you just move a little. It's like, it's silk. <laughs> and you're ready. Who's back? Yeah. <laughs> That's what size for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So... All of that was quite the journey. Then I, I, you know, I was introduced to weaves and you know little extensions and all those things. And I remember going to Joburg, and it was very hard as a student there. Mm -hmm. And um, I was now seventeen when I went to college, and it's difficult to keep up with the standards. Yeah, you know, yeah. Rihanna's just released the the new song, and she's got that whole yeah. you know chop going on. Like I can't do that in my hair; it would never survive it. So we need to weave it. Yeah. So. Um, we tried it. I did that hair for some time. It was mm. like my signature look. And then I so wanted that like short. That short pixie cut. Okay, right, right, yeah. right, right, right. And then eventually I started to do my own hair because now okay. I couldn't afford to weave it every time. Yeah, yeah. So I'd get bonding glue okay. and bond the hair. Okay. And people were like, what do you do to your hair? Uh -huh. Like I'll buy like the weave that's like closest to my hair mm -hmm, texture mm -hmm. when it's relaxed. Yeah. And then I'll like Sleep part it. Out. it. Mm -hmm bond the hair and you know the bonding glue really killed black girls Jeez. here that era was bad dangerous you know because you now start abusing some of these we things we abused Jeez. the bonding glue <laughs> <laughs> and then deadly. there was there was micro bonding the one where they use that little rubber band to like tie yeah. strands yeah, 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 of your yeah, yeah, hair and yeah. they tie really Jeez. tight god bless black okay. women Right. I'm it's telling okay. you, like, we have had our hair going through the most, the most. So there was a whole micro bonding phase, which I also loved. I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> serious you micro bonding, it. girl. Because once you get that in, three yeah. months you can keep it. But after three months, what yeah. that does to your hair, yeah. that little elastic band that they use to tie. Mm -hmm. Not Is that how to get it out? Because it's the same how like when you've got braids in and after a while, like, you know, your hair starts to tighten. So it's, it's very similar it to that. It does. And then it's like how to detangle you without have to be breaking careful. your hair. I oh. know. Like for me, like when I braided this, I was like, you know what? I just need something that will sustain me for the week. I'm in London. Mm -hmm. And literally I'm keeping this a week That's and it's, it. it's out. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when I went to the Big Brother house, my hair was still micro bonded. Okay. But I used to shave my sides. Okay. Remember? Mm -hmm. So I had the shave size and this middle part was micro bonded and oh. that's how I managed to stay with the hair for and you the three whole it. months. Right, okay. So I'll that's wash it, I would do that. whatever, mm -hmm. you know, I would braid it down and then they put a wig on me. Mm -hmm. You could do anything because it was it wasn't a thick micro bonding, it was okay. a very thin one to okay. have it look very natural mm -hmm. with the mohawk that I had going on. And so uh well before I micro bonded the hair in the house, mm -hmm. I did have my hair out. Okay. Still relaxed but not relaxing as often because now okay. we realize, oh relax as a bad yeah, only yeah. relax mm -hmm. twice a year. Right. Oh okay. Yeah, only yeah. relax okay. twice a year. Okay. Okay. So I love the growth, you know, when the growth is happening and the hair is almost looking natural with the blonde color up here and I'll mm -hmm. let it just stand. Yeah. You know, then I did the micro bonding. After the house I did experiment with a lot of weaves and okay. wigs. Mm -hmm. I did a whole lot of that. Loads of wigs as well then okay. now came in. Yeah. Because then wigs were starting the, to become the, the in yeah. popular. Exactly. And at least, you know, girls could not protect their hair right. and all of that. And then I think I did the big chop in 2015 because okay. I got out of the house in 20... That was 2013. Okay. 
So 2014, the whole year I was experimenting with the wigs and mm -hmm. etc. etc. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of this. I did the big chop 2015. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then I remember it was like very, very low, yeah. low, low, low. Like, How did you feel like once you got it cut? Very liberated. similar to like, you know, when you got it cut when you were four. Not not like that. Was was it like a different feeling when you it cut it It was a different feeling. Around? There was a little bit of that when I walked out like, you know, I'm a girl and I've got no hair. Yeah. Where's my crown, mm -hmm. you know? But I just held my head up high and I said, you know what? I am who I am regardless yeah. of my hair. Yeah. I still had that little feeling inside, but I had to overcome it. Yeah. The mm -hmm. feeling will still be there, but I had to rise up. But I right. rise above yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. You have to. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I rose above it and I, you know, I took a few selfies in the car. I was like, hmm, this is going to take some getting used yeah. to. And um, I was confident enough to say, mm -hmm. let me post this. I like this. Yeah. I was ready for whoever's going to come for me. Yeah, I was like, nah. Yeah. And I'm happy, I'm like, okay. Look, it and it beautiful. was just nice that people actually kind of took to it. There were obviously a few bad comments, but mm. you know, that's you always there. Them. That's always there. <laughs> so after that big chop, you know, it took a while because obviously my edges were suffering and I had to be like, you know, to be patient, be patient, mm -hmm. be patient. Mm -hmm. So I'll go to the hair salon and I'll do like a henna dye to okay. make it very black. Okay. And then I'll do a treatment for like, come through for a treatment yeah. every other now and then. Okay. Put oil treatment, yeah. this and that, this mm -hmm. and that. So I started to learn okay. along the way about the journey. And, and was this at a salon when you were going to get yes. it treated? Okay. Yeah. And was it a salon that um, was catered to natural hair at it that wasn't time? wasn't catered to or natural Or you kind of, you time. had to tell them what? They to told do. me. Okay. They actually, because one of them had dreadlocks. Oh, and I was wow. like, maybe I should lock it. Because sometimes it feels like your only option mm -hmm. when you have natural hair to be like, let me just lock it because yeah. it's easier than for me to maintain. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, no, I don't really want to lock it because I like, I like, change look, yeah i like change so after that I, I i got a little tired because when it gets to a certain length it's like what do i do with you you know so yeah. i did a couple of wigs here and there as well while mm -hmm. it was short mm -hmm. good time to do wigs good time to also experiment when your hair yeah. is short mm -hmm. then i started to do something called wave nouveau what is that it was it's like it's like you know how they used to do wet look back in the day oh right okay. so like it's like a new texturizing yes. type okay. it's like texturizing but making it super Okay. Like making your curls, obviously us black girls have yeah. got very tight curls. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's funny when you say she's got curly hair. Yeah. We have the curliest yeah. hair in coils. the world. It's, it's just coils. Coils. It's so curly. It's <laughs> yeah. <coils>. yeah. <laughs> exactly. So it just loosens your curls. Okay. And makes it a little, you know, it's then easier to sleep down. Okay. It's easier to, you know, when you it 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 just it's got that thing and it's mm -hmm. got the slight silkiness okay. to it with the, with the curls. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did for a while. And then after that, with the Wave Nouveau, it was high maintenance. Okay. And eventually the hair starts to fall. Mm. You literally so like... So I did another chop. Ooh. Let's chop it off again because the same work is Like how, how long did it grow when it started to it fall off? It grew for, because I was now in 2015 when I did the chop and then I probably did the Wave Nouveau in about 2016. Okay. I did the wave before after the baby, so that was 2017. Oh, okay. So that was 2017. Yeah. Yes, it was 2017. I was doing braids before that, okay. braids and okay. the wigs and the natural mm -hmm. hair. So after the wave nouveau, I probably only kept it for a few months before I okay. did a chop again. Okay. And then immediately just dyed it blonde. Okay. Actually, no, I did the chop. This is early 20. 18 then mm -hmm. okay so yeah. last year beginning of last year beginning of last mm -hmm. year can you imagine wow yeah yeah okay <laughs> not long not yeah. bad eh okay so i did that and then mm -hmm. it was black for some time and okay. short and my sister was like ish please <laughs> do something about no. yourself you are a star i'm like excuse me i don't care i don't you care have it how they will take me it. how they want exactly. me no uh -huh. no please please you know, like, it'd be your own family, right? oh Before you hear God. it from anybody. It's true. It's within. Oh, my goodness. It's always within. She's like, oh, Honestly. I can't, I can't. Mm -hmm. When are you dying your hair? Oh, okay. I'm just like, Ish. okay. You know, like, yeah. okay, fine. Okay, I need some character. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's go do this. Because yeah. then I had it black, but, okay. you know, only in the gym or around right, family. Right, right, right. Out right, and about, right. I'd still put on the wig. Right, I'm like, right, okay. so what's the point if I'm still going to be putting on these wigs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, not that I don't like them, I like no, them. Yeah, exactly. But I don't want to depend on them. Right, that's the difference. So then, um, I did the blonde. I did the blonde, we loved it, it was cool. It was the natural blonde, like the yeah. way I was sitting but mm -hmm. shorter, mm -hmm. nice and afro-y and, and all of that. And I was like, I got tired, I get very tired. Okay. 
um, I got tired. I was like, I need a change. I need something different. I don't want to cut it. I need something different. So as they recolored my hair every two weeks. Now mm -hmm. this was a all African hair salon. Okay. Like right. all African hair. Yeah. Okay. Dealing with African hair, specializing with African hair. They do not deal with relaxed hair. They do not do weaves. They do not do weaves. What's the place called? It's called Afropology. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hello. Yes. It has to be Afropology. It's Afropology. So, like, is there one that I don't know in Zambia? Like, That's it has the one. to be Afropology. Beautiful. I mm -hmm. loved it there and I've been loyal ever since. So, every two weeks they were like, come in for a treatment because okay. now that you've dyed your hair, yeah. you need to treat it ever so often. Yeah. Yeah. And you need to uh, shampoo it with the specific shampoo for this color. Mm -hmm. And the thing about blonde is that it also kind of loosens your curls. Okay. So then when I notice that my curls are loose, I'm like, mm. this is Yeah, 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 exactly. This is nice. <laughs> and do they like, do it in the way where it's not blonde, where they don't use bleach? Because I know like with some kind of dyes, like if, especially if you're going blonde, you, you have to bleach your hair. So. We did bleach it okay. first. Okay, okay. And that's why they said you need to constantly come in. Got or, you. Got yeah. You. And then after that, they use the dye. Got you. So when I noticed that the texture was a little more silky and a little, my curls were loose, I was like, we can actually like, you know, let me try gelling this hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's when you start again. So that's when I started gelling. Yes. And it was my natural hair. And people like, yes. is your hair natural? I'm like, yeah. Yes. Tell them. Tell yes. them. Are you, are you full black? Yes. <laughs> there's and no Indian. There's, there's no nothing. what? There's nothing. There's nothing. This is all black. And this is my, <laughs> my hair. hair. Yes. And I was just so proud to always say that. Yeah. So proud. But I did tell people that, listen, mm -hmm. it's because of the dye. When yeah. I dye it, okay. this is what this happens is to me. But... I think depending on the texture of your hair, there's mm -hmm. very many different ways you can play with it yeah. without letting go of, you know, what your hair has to offer right, as exactly. a natural black girl. Yes. Whether you're mixed or whether you're whatever, yeah, you know. I've exactly. noticed even mixed girls these days mm -hmm. want to keep their natural hair. Right, exactly. They want to keep it and they only go straight into whatever every yeah, once in a while. Exactly. So from, from that gelling down of the hair, I was like, okay, we got tired of that. And it started to grow, so it won't hold down for too long. It'll start getting like and they'll <laughs> start cover. And then yeah, <laughs> high maintenance one more time. So I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? We did a few wigs, did a few wigs, and then I went, um, I went pink, went pink in Joburg, and um, I liked it, but it washes out very quickly. Oh right, okay. so another high maintenance. Yeah. Thing. I'm like, oh. Was that the first time you were going pink, or had you first tried time. pink? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And then after the pink. We did because the blonde now came out again, so we did um, the purple. Okay. So I did purple and I, I did Dubai with that one. That was my last trip to Dubai. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, this is a perfect time to braid the pink wig yeah. because mm -hmm. I won't be too pink, yeah. but the root will be a little bit purple. Oh, yes. And then the pink wig yeah, on top. Look. And that's mm -hmm. I think that's a good look for London. And so this here we are. Girl. And then I've discovered there's a, a guy who does some amazing lace wigs that mm -hmm. you don't have to glue on. Okay. You can just wear. Yeah. And he's here in the UK. Oh, cool. So I've reached out to him and uh, he's quite expensive. Mm -hmm. But it's a good oh, investment. They are, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good investment for me as an artist a good networking opportunity as well because i know he's done a few wigs for eve the rapper okay. Stephen don yeah lady isha okay i know he, he did nadia nakai's hair okay. as well from south africa mm -hmm. so i was like oh this guy seems pretty good i think mm -hmm. i should give him a shot when i do go right. to the uk exactly. we've been chatting and etc so um i'll i'll reveal to, yes. uh, on my instagram once i do get it done okay. and then i definitely want to explore some of these wigs because they are lovely they're great and sometimes mm -hmm. i love to switch up the look yeah. i just want to show african girls that you can have your natural hair mm -hmm. and the brilliant thing is have that take care of it under yeah, your wig exactly take care of it whether you're weaving yes. take care of it even when you're coloring it yeah and um just embrace it and as much as possible try and avoid the chemicals yeah so that you keep your hair and let it have longevity we've got lots of years to live on this earth mm. so let our hair live with us exactly let's not be those um old women who you know that well, obviously some people their hairline will naturally be seen and stuff mm. like that but let's let our hair be healthier exactly. as long as we are alive exactly and then underneath uh, all of, um, above all of that yeah then we can put on our okay. decorum exactly it's our privilege as, yeah. as black girls exactly. to be able to do that that's so. it and i think it works in the same way as enhancing your beauty through makeup exactly it, it's exactly the same thing you kind of just want to be able to highlight what you already have exactly. and then the fact that our hair is so versatile as well you can just do so many things so like you guys have seen like Cleo's journey and her hair chron chronicles that she shared with us and like 
through it all and the fact that you are evolving as an artist and I think you will continue to evolve and your look will continue to change and then your hairstyles will continue of to follow course. suit with that as well. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Can we toast? Yes, we have to. Hallelujah. <laughs> I've been waiting for this time. <laughs> this moment. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you so much for sharing your thank hair you. journey with us. It's just absolutely amazing to have you on my channel. It's been a pleasure. We love having you in London. We've been seeing you just go all over the place and thank visiting you for the different support. places. So, thank you for the like, support. You know, yeah. it's been absolutely amazing. So, cheers to you. Cheers to you. Don't forget to also check out my latest video, which features Jar Praiser. We're trying to, you know, consolidate the union between us Southern African countries, yeah. Zambia, Zimbabwe. Namibia, Botswana, Malawi, you know, if we can incorporate the Lusophone countries as well, mm -hmm. Angola, Mozambique, South Africa, Lesotho, Swaziland, everybody, like, let's all show our force and, you know, unite and all of that. So, check out my uh, latest video featuring Jar Praiser from Zimbabwe. It's called Forever. It's a beautiful love song and it's a timeless song. So, go on to Clear Ice Cream Vivo and subscribe and share, share, share. You have to definitely check out the video and check out Cleo. I mean, like, if you've been buried under a rock and you really don't know who Cleo is, like, if you, if that's you, that's, if you're the person, right? There's links everywhere in this video where you can go to her pages, check her out, see what she's all about. An amazing, amazing hip hop artist. And she's homegrown, guys. Proudly Zambia. Yes. What? All the way. Hello. <laughs> Okay guys, and that is a wrap from us. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If this is the first time that you're checking me out or you're returning and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also turn on the auto notification bell. That way you know every single time I post a video. All right guys, and until next time, bye. <laughs> You thought so well. <laughs> yes. This is such a Zambian thing to do. Exactly. Let's drink alcohol. We let because that's what we do. Yes. Like, right? I mean, oh, there's a funeral. Let's uh, drink. Yeah. Oh, you cut your hair. Let's we need drink. to drink. Oh, you have a party. Let's, Let's drink. drink. Oh, you had a baby. Let's, Let's drink. drink. Oh, this should be a song. Uh, basically, Cleo's in town. So. Let's